Seward is one of the most beautiful coastal cities in Alaska, located just two hours' drive from Anchorage. It's a world-class destination and an ideal base camp to start an epic adventure in Alaska. A beautiful mountain town, a hot spot for commercial fishing, and the gateway to Kenai Fjords National Park. And today we will share with you 10 things to do in Seward, from places to eat, places to stay, hiking trails, best tours, and much more. You will quickly understand why Seward is a favorite playground for many visitors from around the world. Seward's Boat Harbor. The Boat Harbor is the beaten heart of Seward. There is so much going on here, a variety of fishing charters, tour boats, eateries, and some quaint local shops. Take a walk around the marina to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the mountains, the boats, and if you're lucky, you can even spot some wildlife, usually otters, harbor seals, and a lot of seagulls. This is the famous spot where you would go on a fishing charter, come back here, and you would take a picture with the, whatever you caught. Many fishing charters depart from the harbor. There is also a large cleaning station by the marina for fishermen to clean their catch. Even if you don't go for a fishing charter, stopping by the cleaning station by the end of the day to watch the cleaning process of huge halibut and salmon is absolutely worth it. Boat tours and day cruises also depart from here. So that takes us to the next activity on the list, and that is exploring Kenai Fjords on a day cruise. In the summer months, there are boat tours taking visitors on excursions in Kenai Fjords for wildlife and glacier viewing. Taking a boat tour is one of the best ways to explore some areas of the park that are only accessible by water. A full day cruise is a great way to see some glaciers and wildlife native to the area, and that includes whales, eagles, sea lions, puffins, sea otters, and more. The park covers an area of 670,000 acres on the Kenai Peninsula in South Central Alaska with outflowing glaciers, coastal fjords, and islands. Not only that, but it's one of very few national parks in Alaska that are accessible by land and offers the opportunity to hike to a glacier, Exit Glacier. Seward's Exit Glacier is one of Alaska's most accessible glaciers. So that takes us to the next activity, and that's hiking Exit Glacier Trail. Exit Glacier Trail starts from the Nature Center in the Kenai Fjords National Park. If you're driving from the city of Seward, the Nature Center is located 12 miles northwest of Seward. Exit Glacier Trail is an easy 2.2 mile hike with an elevation gain of 429 feet. Very manageable if you're looking for an easy but rewarding hike. This trail takes you from the Cottonwood Forest to a panoramic vista of Exit Glacier spilling down from the Harding Ice Field. This trail is not only pleasant, but it unfolds the history of 200 years of documented accelerating pullback of the glacier. So keep an eye out for the signs on the trail and even on the road leading to the park. These signs are marking the recession of the glacier throughout the years. If you're up for a challenge, from the same trailhead is the magnificent Hardin Icefield Trail. We're going to start from the Exit Glacier Nature Center and then we will go all the way up to Marmot Meadows, and then the next stop will be top of the cliffs, and then the end of the trail. Hardin Icefield Trail is one of the most spectacular day hikes in Alaska. This is a strenuous hike of 8.2 miles and an elevation gain of 3,812 feet. You will experience breathtaking vistas of the vast Hardin Ice Field, which feeds nearly 40 glaciers. This is unreal, unbelievable. I'm running out of words to even describe the magnitude of the ice field. Mountain here, giant valley, another mountain over there. If it's just a sea of ice on a plane up here, just in its own world. The view from the top is worth the effort, but if you don't have time or the physical ability to get to the end of the trail, a shorter hike to Marm Meadows or the top of the cliffs overlook also offers incredible views of Exit Glacier. Before you start your hike, check with the rangers about bear activity and read the signs at the trailhead. Make sure that you have bear spray with you, enough water, snacks, and some good, reliable hiking shoes. Next, 
Visit Alaska Sea Life Center. The Alaska Sea Life Center is a facility that combines marine research education and wildlife response. The center is home to rescued animals like puffins, octopus, harbor seals, sea lions, and other marine life. Oh, he's just there. <laughs> he's chatting with the other one. They're just like speaking through the... <laughs> If learning about marine life is not your thing, you can still enjoy a fantastic view of the bay from their viewing deck. And if you're lucky, you can spot some whales if you're visiting during the right season. The best time to spot whales in Alaska is usually June and July when whales have made their migration. How long some mammals can hold their breath underwater. So we're looking at uh, polar bears, about one to three minutes, humans, Usually one to two minutes with the world record of 20 minutes. Orca whale, 12 minutes. Sea lions, 12 minutes. Humpback whale, 15 to 30. We have the deepest human dive of 701 feet. And then the deep down, where it gets really dark and lonely and cold, is where the sperm whale thrive and they can hold their breath up to 90 minutes. Enjoy some seafood. A visit to Seward is not complete if you don't enjoy some fresh catch straight from the bay. Seward offers a good number of dining options that we were very pleased with. I am usually skeptical about restaurants with a view because usually the quality of food is compromised, but that wasn't the case at Chinook's restaurant. This restaurant is overlooking the marina. You can enjoy watching boats and seagulls while dining. The view is spectacular to say the least. Their menu selection is very appetizing and is definitely worth checking out. We enjoyed their crab cakes, grilled halibut with rice, their fish and chips, and their dessert menu was equally good. We also ate at Alaska Seafood Grill about three times. This restaurant offers a diversified menu of seafood, fish and chips, burgers, fried fish baskets, grilled fish, and more. My absolute favorite meal was grilled halibut with rice and a salad. Next, Visit Seward's Waterfront Park. Seward's Waterfront Park extends from the Boat Harbor to the Sea Life Center and contains tent and RV camping, playgrounds, picnic areas, and beach access. Mile zero of the historic Editoroy Trail also starts in the Waterfront Park. A walk by the water opens a lot of opportunities for wildlife viewing, especially sea otters and harbor seals. There are a bunch of sea otters just swimming and enjoying the weather. It really was interesting. He was just kind of like sliding through the water. Explore Resurrection Bay. Resurrection Bay is a fjord on the Kenai Peninsula of Alaska. It's called the gateway to the Kenai Fjord since water taxis, kayak tours, and boats use the bay to access the nearby Kenai Fjords National Park. As we were looking for accommodation, we came across a lodge on the bay with jaw-dropping views. Resurrection Lodge on the bay. It's hands down one of the best places we have stayed in Alaska. All the stuff you've been looking for, because like you wanted to be well prepared, and reasonably so, but they have all of it just sitting here. They've gone all out to like have a good packet here prepared for anybody who wants to come. The lodge is tucked away with gorgeous views of the bay, mountains, crashing waves all night long, high chances of seeing whales and bald eagles up close. We literally just saw two bald eagles fighting and trying to get food from the seagulls. I think the most beautiful wildlife <laughs> sight that I've ever seen. I highly recommend staying at the Resurrection Lodge on the Bay if you're looking for a place in Seward. And I have a full video tour of the lodge that you can check in the video link up here. Next, attend Seward's 4th of July celebration. If you happen to be in Seward during Independence Day, you will be in for a treat. Every year, Seward has a packed agenda for the 4th of July, a famous race up Mount Marathon, fireworks, and a lively historic downtown. 
By the way, Mount Marathon is a very popular hike in Seward if you are up for a grueling challenge. These are some of the top activities to explore Seward, and there are plenty more things to do, like hiking to Tonsina Point, visiting Seward Community Library and Museum, kayaking is a great activity, and going on a fishing charter, and much, much more. If you found this episode to be useful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. My name's Habiba, this is Tracking Pals, and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.